Now, those biblical scholars amongst you will know that the wages of sin are death. Well, this week we learn that if you're a civil servant, the wages of wokery are cash. I'm going to be talking to uh, Rafe Heidel Manku, a historian, broadcaster, and fellow of the New Cultural Forum. Rafe, thank you for joining us. This is an extraordinary story in today's Telegraph saying that if you go on diversity courses, wokery courses, as people may slightly pejoratively call them, you are going to be paid more cash as a civil servant. Now, how does this sit with the government statement in the autumn, with the government saying in the autumn statement that they would do all they could to restrict this sort of equality and diversity training in the civil service and stamp out wokery? Why are we now paying people to indulge in it? You're quite, you're quite right, Jake. A pleasure to be with you. Yes, I mean, Jeremy Hunt has announced this, and we have seen Esther McVeigh now appointed as the so-called Minister for Common Sense, and her husband, Philip Davies, also an MP, has said that he imagines her job will be to end precisely these sorts of practices. But, of course, this is coming in the dying embers of a Conservative government and administration that has, in effect, been in place for 13 years. And, uh, as usual, the Tories are talking very tough in the run-up to an election, but uh, every time they come into power, we see very little delivered on all of that tough talk. And you know, you say, and, that is, and it is shameful that the one party we could have hoped for to actually be tough on all these issues has actually uh, put the put the pedal to the metal in terms of uh, accelerating what we saw under New Labour, uh, the explosion of the EDI, equality, diversity, diversity and inclusion industry under the Tories. Uh, is absolutely shameful. But, I mean, you, you describe this as an extraordinary Rafe, story. Rafe, if, I if think I it's can, shameful. If I can interrupt you, um, look, this is this is the civil service doing this. And why should the British taxpayer be paying tax? And in fact, it won't be paying tax. We will be borrowing money to pay people more cash for doing this sort of course that doesn't really add much to the human sum of knowledge, I would think rather than doing things like getting on with it, clearing the backlog in asylum claims, helping people get driving tests, which seems like an impossible task at the moment, helping people who are queuing up for public services. Why, oh, why, oh, why are we paying people more for doing this type of wokery? You're absolutely right. I mean, bonuses should be used to incentivize civil servants to actually to implement policy ahead of time, to do their job and to make the civil service more efficient. You know, something that could incentivize the Home Office to actually deal with that backlog of 200,000 asylum seekers. And instead of that, they're being actually uh, paid to refocus their attention away from their core job onto things which are extracurricular, such as uh, diversity and inclusion. You're absolutely right. It's shameful. It's not extraordinary, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, all, it's all too common a story. But it's not you know a story. that one it's billion absolutely... days are wasted each year on equality and diversity training at a cost of 150 million. We know that it costs seven billion pounds when you take into account all of the EDI programs in government, quangos and government contractors. Seven billion pounds could help to cure homelessness, could do so much to actually dealing with the immigration crisis we're having right now. It's absolutely scandalous, but we have to realize and understand that our institutions, including the civil service, have been completely captured by woke ideology. We've had a silent cultural revolution that's taken place in this country. The buildings in Whitehall may look like the same, but Rafe, the people who Rafe, have it thank you for joining us. We're oh. going to have to leave it there. Just get on with work. Stop this woke nonsense. Rafe Hadel Manku, historian, broadcaster, and senior fellow of the New Cultural Forum, thank you for joining us. We will be fighting the wages of woke here.